Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning, all. So, uh, I think very interesting topic. So, I'll start with what 5G has done, you know, uh, to the world. 5G has actually, you know, opened up the technology. So, so when we say opened up the technology, right? Uh, in India, we have a 5G core vendor today. In India, we have a 5G dial vendor today. But if you go years back, this was not the case, right? There were very few selective core technology vendors, right? So how that has all happened? Yes, 5G has opened it to the world, right? But to create that ecosystem, to create that support system, you know, to create uh, your champions, right? The government, you know, uh, has to create that entire system. So what beautifully has been done here is that, you know, uh, uh, companies have been funded to do R&D on 5G technologies. A company like Neural, you know, a startup, and you know, now it's a heads up, it's ready to, you know, uh, offer its 5G as a core to the world, right? Uh, this is all because we are part of a system where we have been encouraged to create a product. So you have an Indian 5G as a core to the world today, right? And then, uh, you know, there are many companies uh, like Ramu is there for ra radio access network, right? A technology which maybe years back we were dreaming that, you know, it will always come from outside India, right? But we have created that ecosystem, we have created hardware, we have created software, and this has all become possible of the efforts, of the guidance, of the you know, funding, everything is important here, right? And how do you, once you create the products, right, you need to implement those products, right? You need to put those products into use. So that is where I think, uh, you know, um, what Charat already said, that uh, our Honorable Prime Minister, you know, he announced the IMC 2023 about creating 105 5 use case labs across India. So we are all set, you know, in the next two months to create this 105 5 use case lab across India in different engineering colleges and universities. Now it's a very beautiful initiative. On the one hand, it is giving a company like us who created a product to go and deploy your product and then there's different use cases, right? And, uh, and other companies, right? And it is not only about a 5G land and a core. Many devices like, uh, you know, 5G drone, IoT gateway, ARVR system. So all these are, you know, uh, uh, being part of that lab system. So that is where we are creating a, you know, a platform for us to go and deploy and test and then we are ready for, a, you know, maybe the next stage of the commercial use case. Second hand, it is going to, you know, uh, increase the knowledge of 5G between the students. India is a startup ecosystem, right? So everybody knows about it. It's, it's in every domain. So if you see, uh, and telecom 5G, again, is not only going to happen with core and RAN. We need an end-to-end -end ecosystem, we need 5G devices, we need 5G um, applications, use cases. So, so what we can say probably today, you know, India as a nation is already to give you a 5G ecosystem and deploy that 5G ecosystem in any part of the world, right? So we have right from the devices to the primary core and RAM, everything is part of that startup ecosystem. We are having all the products in India. So that is where this you know, entire initiative of the government, of the labs, uh, uh, encouraging startups. So we have the end-to-end -end product and ecosystem which we can deploy to the world. And I think that that is an ecosystem which will be required everywhere. So as Sarah said, it's not only 5G is a network which can carry any kind of application and data, right? But those, the 5G uh, and the technology has many strengths. So we have to see what use cases I think we have discussed later yes. that can come into part of it. Uh, we as a nation are ready, we as a company are ready to offer end to end 5G. So I will also start with, you know, uh, 5G was a buzzword, now 5G clearly has started to buzz, right? But if, you know, I will say it like if 5G has to succeed, right, uh, then it has to be uh, a country like India who can make 5G successful, right? Now why I said this, right? I have seen a Volvo bus, I will take an off route example, right? Volvo might have made a bus which is not made in India, right? But when that bus lands to a city like Mumbai, Right. It has a full capacity. The doors are hard to be right? So what I'm saying is the test, the, the kind of traffic we can put on a network 
uh, a country like India, there's no other country which is going to put a traffic like that. Uh, so to use the 5G full potential, we'll have to find out the ways how to put that traffic onto that network because 5G has a tremendous capacity uh, as, a, as a technology, right? So until unless we use the full potential of a technology, saying it is a failure or a success is something, you know, it's all, always a debatable thing. But yes, our country, not only, you know, uh, Saraf talked about uh, public networks, right? They, they can be two more operators. But the subset which Ravan was talking about is private 5G, right? A private 5G, so what I want to say is, if you don't see and learn, you can either try a new thing, right? So you see US market, right? They started with the public network, then they offered a CBRS ban, now they are doing private 5G, right? And not only private 5G, now there are uses coming of a hybrid network, right? A private and a public network, you know, joining hands, Say from a warehouse of a private network, something is going out, then it's getting uh, shifted to the public network. So all this is already there. Right? So either we follow that, right? So what Ramu said about spectrum, right? Either we follow that. So we also create enterprise or to be the master to choose choose the spectrum, choose the service provider, whatever they want. But what is that going to you know deliver is that more number of use cases, more number of applications. Ramu talked about mining. Yes, mining is a requirement. We ourselves have, you know, gone to the mining industry, taught them how 5G can be useful to them. We have created, you know, presentations, use cases for them. And then we have taken their feedback, right? Today, it's very, very, uh, you know, initial days, their, their, their uh, you know, problems are totally different. So we have to address the problems first, and then we go to the, you know, advance of AR, VR, uh, drone-based, 3D mapping, this is what is not there today, but sure. they, they want it. Yes. How we do it, now that position. Yeah, thank you.